next guest is one of the hottest WWE superstars on the planet. In January, she made history as the second black person to win the Royal Rumble. Who was the first, you may ask? Well, just a little known wrestler by the name of The Rock. Not bad footsteps to follow in. Uh, that's why we call her a whole lot of woman. All right, she's known as the EST of the WWE. Please welcome WWE superstar Bianca Belair. <laughs> Woo! First of all, wait, I love the room you're in with the black and gold. That's so Gatsby. I love it. That's so, that's Thank super you. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Well, and also I have to ask you, like, what does, you know, the EST of the WWE, what does that mean? What does that stand for? So I call myself the EST of WWE. It, it basically means that I'm the strongest, I'm the fastest, I'm the roughest, I'm the toughest, I'm the quickest, I'm the greatest, I'm the best. The BEST is anything good that ends in EST. You know, I've played sports my whole entire life and I was a collegiate uh, hurdler at the University of Tennessee. And afterwards I went into CrossFit and I made my own gear and I really stood out. So I was contacted by Mark Henry, who is a Hall of Famer. And he asked me if I ever thought of being a WWE wrestler. And, he told me just to be myself. I went through two tryouts and I got hired in April of 2016. Oh my gosh. Just like listening to you, we're so much alike. Um, <laughs> so, so similar. Um, you're, you're so athletic, good Lord. Um, so you're known for your long braid, which is fabulous by the way. Um, we even have video of you jump roping uh, with it. So do you use it in the ring? That's amazing. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, I definitely use it. Um, at first, it was just a signature look so that I could stand out and be unique. And I and I had a match where I threw it at one of the girls and it made this huge noise and the crowd reacted. And I was like, what was that? Was that my hair? And that's when I realized, oh, this is not just a signature look. This can be used as a weapon. So I definitely use this as my secret weapon in the ring. Um, I already see the movie and you're like some kind of like really cool, like, I don't know, you're saving the day and you're using your hair and you're just kicking ass with it. I, I don't know. I see it. I'm just saying. Um, are your parents your biggest fans or do they get worried with just all of that? My parents have been there every step of the way. They, they they always support me, even with track and gymnastics and CrossFit. Anything that I do, they support me. So when it came to being in the, in the WWE, they have completely fallen in love. My dad gets very crazy. He gets excited. He, he falls over the back of the couch because he gets so excited every time I come out, even if it's my entrance. And nobody ever believes me, but my mom gets amped up. Um, they're my biggest fans and I just love them so much and it's just it's amazing to have uh, parents like them I'm just super blessed well we actually have video of Bianca's parents watching her um, from home so take a look <laughs> I get so excited watching them and I love that they, they can be a part of this with me. Like I'm, I'm tearing up now just watching it, but they are the best parents that, that I could ever ask for. Oh, that's, that really is a beautiful thing. Um, well, WrestleMania is this weekend. So what makes this year so significant, you think? Well, for me, you know, this will be uh, my first WrestleMania title match. And I'm actually going up against Sasha Banks, who is the SmackDown Women's Champion. And we are actually creating history on this night. It'll be the first time that two African-American women are, are having a title match at WrestleMania. Wow. So we're going to be on the greatest stage of all, creating history. Um, it, it's also going to be two nights. <laughs> It'll be on April 10th and April 11th at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay. It'll be the first time that we're having fans back uh, in a year. Mm. We're going to be on peak on Peacock. Um, it'll be the first time that WrestleMania will be on Peacock. It's the home, the new home of the WWE Network. We're going to have 25,000 fans. Uh, we're following all safety protocols. We're having pods. We're social distancing. Uh, yeah. They're doing temperature checks. Masks are required. And you know, we just really been doing a lot of PSA announcements. Um, 
about COVID and, and vaccinations and everyone's super excited to get back to normal. And I think the first step is everyone rolling up their sleeves, doing their part, getting vaccinated so that we can get back to normal. And, you know, I think we're jump starting that with having a two night WrestleMania um, with 25,000 fans. It's going to feel like a family reunion, having our fans back and being able to create history in front of our fans uh, with Sasha Banks. And I'll be going for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And hopefully I'll be walking out as the new champion at WrestleMania. Okay, well, here's the thing. I need the video of your parents watching you win that. Because <laughs> I feel like it's going to be, I feel like what you're going to do is going to be nothing in comparison to how crazy they get. <laughs> They're going to be so excited. <laughs> We're probably gonna pass out. We're gonna need, need to like carry them out on a stretcher. I know it's already <laughs> falling off couches. So, um, well, you're you're also. I think this is really cool too because you know when you have like this kind of power, this kind of spotlight, it's really cool that you use it for for other things, not just for oneself. So you're also involved in a program called Girl Up. So can you tell us about it? Yes, it's, it's amazing. WWE and Girl Up, they partner together to promote gender equity in sports. And, you know, WWE has launched the, the Girl Up uh, Scholarship Fund, where they provide scholarships for 10 girls around the world. And it's just super important to encourage young girls to get into sports and stay in sports because it just promotes so many great qualities. And, you know, I've played sports all throughout my life since I was five. And I really feel like it's really contributed to, to the success that I'm experiencing today. Mm -hmm. And so WWE, Girl Up, and also Sports for a Purpose, which is another program that we have, we just want to make sure that we're providing the resources and the opportunities and, and the information to young girls to encourage them to get into sports and stay in sports. Mm -hmm. And we're providing these spaces to have conversations, these must needed conversations, which we do by having panels with a female quotient, which I've been a part of. And we're just talking about the importance of girls getting in sports and also talking about the importance of representation of females in sports. So it's amazing things that WWE and Girl Up are doing. I'm so happy to be a part of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Hey.